Are y'all here? Are y'all here, Ready. CMA. CMA. Hey. Here you go. Careless. So jealous. Uh, ate the chitlins and now you're yeah, feeling shitty. Oh, we don't want to hear that right now. I know. Oh, I was on to you. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, somebody lie. Oh, we lie. 
<coughs> what's going on? What's going on, my people? What up, Tawan? What up, Aquarius? I see we have 15 people in here and only two people in here speaking. Y'all can't say hi. Y'all can't say hi. You ain't got you can't say hi to your boy. You can't say hi to your boy. What up, money boy? What up, money boy? Mm. I'm drinking a lot of water, you guys. I'm about to go. I have to go to the grocery store and get me something to eat. Buy me something to cook for the night. What's going on? What's going on, my forcey gang? Aquarius in the building. Aquarius in the building. I um, I'm a couple. I have some exciting, well, not exciting things, but things that I've been through. Um, I actually talked to the source. I'm not going to go to into detail, but I know for a fact Miss Robbie is tired, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Shout out to Miss Robbie. I'm, I will be coming down there, and I will be getting my free food that you promised me. Okay, so with that being said, um, I just let me tell y'all the story, this whole story, and how things go full circle. Well, remember, I um, got into it with a young lady, taken up for, hey, sweet Rita, remember years ago, a couple of years ago, I got into it with a young lady and um, taken up for uncle, you know, who wanted to like to have sex with family members, her. Uh, and the lady on the daycare, we went at it. And I remember calling her one time and she called me. And she was like, Miss Robbie is my God mama. And she actually called Miss Robbie then and I hung up. I said, I don't give a damn who it is. First, I want to give a shout out, and I want to shout out to her, and I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry. But I apologize because I, she was checking Philly Field then. You know, I need to retitle this. Because this is a deep story, you guys. Um, she was checking Philly Field about how she was covering the sweetie bites thing, even the first time, the first go round, right? And so I jumped in and I took up for her. And me and a girl went back and forth with each other. So what the lady was like, look, she owns a daycare and I was doing all that. And she said, you know what? She can't send me $300. I said, look, I, I'm good. I, I'm, I'm, we're not going to do this. And I said, okay. Well, she reached out to me. And her and I was talking and she was saying how, you know, they're frustrated. They're frustrated. They're very frustrated. And she was able to call Miss Robbie. And I talked to Miss Robbie for a good 50 minutes. I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to say I talked to her. I'm not even going to say nothing she said to me. But I will be coming down there for my free food. Um, so I am, um, I'm team justice for Miss Robbie. I had the pleasure of speaking to her person. I thank God for that. And um, I'm thinking now that I'm looking at Eat with Philly Phil. I'm thinking that I just seen this last video. And you know what? She would not be in a predicament she's in if she had a stuck to videos just like she's doing right now. Okay? If she had a stuck to videos to where she's talking only about the case. You suck. See, she suck. As well as she should be shook. This ain't no playing matter. This ain't no laughing matter, sweetie. I'm thinking about coming to the court, to, to the court day. I'm nosy. I I think a little bit of that money boy trade pettiness has jumped off on me. Cause I didn't got a little petty lately. You know, I had no idea that you made videos. You know, see that go to show you people don't believe me when I say I don't watch people videos. I rarely do. I rarely, rarely watch anybody, especially if you're my enemy, especially if we're at into it. I don't go back and watch your videos because I feel like that triggers me. And here I'm going to do, you know, I can go toe to toe. You know, 
I'm, I'm in that mood. It's that season where I'm just shutting bitches down. It's, I'm in that season where I'm shutting bitches down. Don't come for me and I won't come for you. Okay? But when she, I had not realized that um, incest had done videos even talking about me. And but well, also along with just whatever she's done. What up, Joy Chit Chat? So hearing the videos just made me dislike her even more. Knowing that she gave that channel and not even on that channel something I worked even harder for than her. Not that I didn't want the channel back. I would have appreciated it if she had to just cut shut that channel down or kept it. But that's how mean and evil and deceitful this broad is. So calm is something she's gonna get everything that she deserves. Tenfold, tenfold, she's going to get everything she deserves. And um, I think you even opened up a can of worms that you will not, you're going to be upset that you open. Do you know that she has messed herself up now to where she was talking about going to Tim Norman's trial? She can't even go to Tim Norman's trial. trial. If she do, I would, I wouldn't go. You know how big their family is and here you got a lawsuit at you from the family, how you, I, I bet you she ain't that damn bad, bad that she will not go to Tim Norman's trial. Only a fool. I know she dumb and a little, ain't no damn way in the world, eat with Philly Bill is gonna go to Tim Norman's trial. I would go there just to see if she would go there. You gotta be a special kind of stupid if you think that you can still go to that trial. You might have, if you had, before you did all this, you might have been able to slide in there and, and watch because that's something you've been talking about that ever since the first came out. You told me, so oh, I can't wait. I am going down there. I'm gonna go to that trial. Well, baby, that ship has passed. You won't be going to that trial, sugar. Sweetie Plum, you won't be at that one. But you'll be there for a trial of your own. Come on, somebody. You have worked. You will be there for a trial of your motherfucking own. And I'm going to try to make it there. Joy Chit says she better go in a wig, a hat, and some sunglasses. Oh, and with a C-19. She better not take her ass there to the only time she needs to go to St. Louis is when it's time for her to go to trial for her own ass. But I think she's kind of get, getting a hint. I think that reality is set in. Maybe somebody, because you can tell when nobody talking, you can tell she didn't have a lawyer because the lawyer would have told her to shut the hell up the moment that the, the moment that she was served. This last video, I'm going to look at it. And I, because, you know, since then, and uh, I wish Miss Robbie would give me the okay, but Miss Robbie have not given me the okay or anything, so I won't say anything. It's not clicks and views for me. It's not clicks and views for me. So you got to learn how to be that. But I thank God for her. All I can say is Miss Robbie thanked me. Thank you, Miss Robbie. Thank you. And that's all I'm saying. She thanked me. Okay. I got that off. It was eating me away. And she did offer me free food when I go down there. Come on, somebody. All right. So let's look at um um what her whole difference. Because I had no idea that when she got the first was served and she got those papers, she sat on her lunch break and said that this wasn't the first asshole that sued her. or tried to get her shut down or whatever it was. Another thing, I offered any services to Miss Robbie that she needed. Anything she needed to know or testify, testify. Okay, so let me go. Um, see, what she's trying to do, you're trying to get some attention, honey, but you try to get the attention the wrong way. See, I, oh, let me finish this. So, yeah, that was the goddaughter. The goddaughter called me. She said, look, I, and this is full circle. Woman, I had cussed out and did a video. I apologize to you for that. 
but she was the one that called me and said, hey, we appreciate what you're doing. We don't understand why they're doing this to my godmother. I got that. And via her, that's how I was able to talk to the woman herself and, and, and tell her I'm sorry for what she's going through. And I just don't understand how women can be behind some mess like this. Okay, so now, first of all, when you put up something like this, and this is so ironic, and this is see, this lets you know how this heifer is bipolar, that she's mentally crazy, that she's narcissist, and she will never get it. She one of them people that gotta be knocked the fuck out, be knocked completely out before she gets it. It says, the devil is not welcome here. Eat with Philly Phil, talk show and more. You are the damn devil. You're talking to yourself. What do you mean the devil? You, you are the devil. You're the devil when it came to any friendship. You're the devil when it comes to the relationship with your daughter. You're the devil because you called your granddaughter a bitch. You are the devil because you were screwing your uncle. You are just the devil. I hope that was a self awareness. I hope that was you ministering to yourself. The devil is not welcome here. Because sometimes when we do that, you know, sometimes when we do that, we have to be talking to ourselves. And let me see what this says. I, I hadn't read this. She, um, really, so lately, to look at her videos, you guys, I'm going to look at these videos because I really haven't checked her out. She has Sweetie Pie, Tim Norman wants to be released from, yes, honey, see, this is what you should have been staying on in the first place. This is where she should have been staying, hold on. Uh, I just watched some live. It was one of her in the truck someone to help you and teach you how to make you know what i cannot stand her voice so this is okay, okay this is the one how y'all doing this is what this bitch should have been staying doing what's going on won't be a long one guys will not be a long video this morning oh my god i hate to do this i listen did you hear what she just said wait i hate to do this but watch this okay listen to it how y'all doing what's going on won't be a long one, guys. Will not be a long video this morning. But I just wanted to come. Okay, y'all hear that. Now I want y'all to hear this. Okay, y'all. I hate to do this, but I got to. I got to, y'all. Okay. I have to. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on. I got to do it. Don't check me. Okay, look. Here we go. I want y'all to hear. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to get on here long. Hold on. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> one was Philly Phil, and one was B. Nicole. Listen to B. Nicole again, y'all. Listen to this. One was my niece. Sometimes you just have stuff in common because it is what it is. I don't care how no, how long, how much somebody deny you, but listen. This is how they both started out their video. And mind you, B. Nicole's was done first. I know I have not been on here in a long, long time. Well, hold on. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So... <clears throat> I'm not going to be on here long. I'm not going to be on here long. Hold on. Y'all know I have not been on here in a long, long time. Okay, I just thought that that was ironic, and I really... But I just want to come it? on okay, and say Okay, hold on. Okay. How y'all doing? What's going on? 
Won't be a long one, guys. Will not be a long video this morning. But I just wanted to come on and say hello to everyone. Because, you know, we want to keep our breakfast going. The Breakfast Club. The Phillettes and the Philly Uppers. The Breakfast Club. The Phillettes and the Philly Uppers. This bitch is really reaching. I just don't like her. And listen. It is what it is. Can't nobody make me like her. People want to money boards of owe that none of that I, I no it's nothing once you see the devil in somebody oh god unless she has unless she has a public exorcism mm. it's like she do stuff she never ceases to amaze me once you once you didn't wrap your mind around the bag that she didn't done something just so shocking. She always over, she tops herself. She goes over and beyond and do something even more outrageous. And you be like, okay, can't nobody be this damn evil. But let's listen, listen a little bit. How y'all doing? So this morning, guys, have you ever had look, Wendy's, I'm gonna tell you something. Wendy's got, look at these home, look at these potatoes. Wendy's got some good old breakfast taters, honey. And they sit. And let me tell y'all this. If she's not doing something about sweet pie, she's not interested in that at all. She's not worth listening to. You don't want to just listen to her talk about Wendy's fries. She don't, look, the fries, she didn't even make the fries sound good. I'm just saying. She's always said that to me herself. I'm not entertaining like that. I'm not entertaining like you. I don't be knowing what to say. That's why she has so much dead air sometimes or she repeat herself a whole lot when she has to be talking about somebody else. She cannot. See, a person cannot talk about themselves so much. This is the reason why she can't talk about herself too much because it's too much she has guarded. She's guarding too much. When you too busy and you just, because you're going to mess around and let something slip out that you didn't want nobody to know. You know, you can't just go off the top of your head because you're going to get a little bit loose to let. And now you done said some shit and you got to explain it. The same way with B. Nicole, when she started doing them videos with her daughter, with B. Nicole and the grandchildren, and somebody said, oh, so you got a 40-year-old daughter. Where that daughter come from? I believe that that's where it started, where it all started, because now you have to explain where his daughter come from, and you didn't want to. Now, I believe in, you know, this is a business and we all do this. And I want to do a poll. I, you know, I need to set up a poll. How many, because I was talking to B. Nicole and I said, we were just talking and, you know, she kept saying, well, you know, they and the mess with Loka. And I said, baby, you know, I warned her. Anytime somebody comes to you and say, watch this and watch that, to, you know, for all them people that said, watch Michael. That was so fun. You watch, but you got to be careful the ones that's always telling you who to be where out, watch out for. Because them be the main motherfuckers you have to watch out for. And look how it all played out. Who coming at it? I said, be careful being her friend because it will come back to bite you in the ass. And mark my words. Mark my words. And, and, and I, I'm just going by a little bit of per se of what I was told and and heard and that uh how can you give information to the enemy and that information was already out there i already knew it she told me so that over there is just a sad case that here you had somebody was supposed to have this girl's back and now dragging her but ain't that how it usually happens over there ain't that what it usually happens people start off as friends and that's why you don't tell people too much. And see, I don't, that's why I don't backtrack or if I don't fuck with you, I never even go over there. Certain people you would just never see me talking to or with. Because it's always moments like that. You start here and event, especially if you have a person that it just continuously happens to. You have a person that gets into it and been into it with everybody and anybody. And most of it's all about. When you have people that, that 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 are so in their mind and upset because you deal with people that they don't mess with, those are the type of people 
that I just can't I can't rock with you because you're not gonna fucking tell me who and who who I can or who I cannot deal with. Period. And so for B Nicole to be going through that right now, I, I'm praying for her that she gets to I told her, don't do it, just let it go. Because when I told her, I said, when you come out, I said your your content. There's going to be people that smile up in your face and act like they got your back. We're going to be the main one to turn around and let your ass have it. And look, everybody said, watch out for CMA. Get the hell up out of here. CMA did one damn video that she asked me to. And when her, she re-put out, when she had already done that video, when she re-put that video out, I took mine down. I wasn't the one all on the shows doing game nights and and all, that wasn't me. Because what I was doing was behind the scenes. I didn't have to do it on here. It wasn't about that for me. I didn't never say shout me out. Never have I said shout me out. I ain't mad at her now. We ain't fell out. We ain't arguing about a damn thing. Because my intentions were true at heart. It was true at heart. I'm giving her something her mama not giving her. And I thought that the people that was in her life would be that. So now she got a mama coming at her and these other motherfuckers she didn't met coming at her, telling her what she's not. And she's like, stop it. That's You can't get no more evil than that. Even if you thought that, why wouldn't you just shut the fuck up and not say nothing and just stop dealing with it? Now you got to do videos on it. You know why you got to do videos on it? Because it's content. It's content. Same way that you, that person had to go off on my mama because that's in her instead of saying, let me let, let me drag his ass anymore. I would have never drug her mama. I'm just saying, come on. But like I told B. Nicole, just let it go. Leave it alone. Don't respond. Don't answer no more. Because that shit will drag on and she'll kiss, keep doing that. Let it go. You made a mistake by fucking with her. You made a mistake. We all make mistakes in these YouTube series. I made a mistake by fucking with Philly Phil. We all make mistakes. You learn from it and keep on. And don't backtrack. Don't go back on it. That's people's problem in these A lot of people go back and they go back to being friends. For what? For the same thing that happened. And then when it happened again, you sitting there, you're acting shocked. You only got one time to fuck me over. One time to do me wrong. And I will act like I never even met you. I have no problem with that. And I think a lot of people have a problem because, see, people on here don't know how to let go. You have a lot of people that don't have the gift of goodbye like I do. The, listen, I can forgive somebody and still not ever mess with you again. And the forgiveness is for me, not even the person. But I, I'm old enough to know that I will never be on another panel. And, you know, I was on Money Boys um, panel one night. What up, Vanessa Smith? What's happening, Melissa? Monica B, what's going on, my people? Um, and that's Money Boy's channel. He can do what he want to do. But as I was up there, when he brought fat ass up there, the first thing I did, I dropped right on down. I don't have to do nothing I don't want to do. I don't backtrack. I'm not talking. It's, it's a wrap. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. And people get mad at you. Because you can walk away and you have a gift of goodbye the same way. And let's let's turn this shit around. PP didn't walk away from me. I walked away from her. I chose to say, look, if you keep dealing with them, I'm out. So stop thinking that, oh, I'm miss I ain't missing a damn thing. I chose, I took my videos down. I chose to walk the fuck away. Stop acting like she gave me and she did that. That shit there, that net, come on, that narrative right there. I gave her, she made money off of me. What the hell are you talking about? Monica B said, the evil way she talked and felt about being Nicole, I wonder how will her granddaughter feel about people when she hear her grandma's story when she grows up because she might hear about it. I'm sure she will. I'm sure them, I'm sure them kids will if I have anything to do with it. What? Don't judge me. Judge yourself. Well, I know for a fact that Miss Robbie knows all of that. Miss Robbie knows it all. 
Ms. Robbie know her daughter's situation. She knows her daughter's, how she don't talk to her daughter. All that's out. But I'm just saying these people. So hopefully, um, EWPPG, ain't that what she used to call herself? I think she didn't change the name or whatever it is. Has gotten the hint. Has gotten the hint. Stick to the damn story. Stop dragging other people in it that ain't got shit to do with this story. Stick to the facts. Talk about the case. Talk about the defendant. Stop adding people in there that's not a defendant. You know, maybe finally you got some type of reputation, I mean, representation. Because at first I was looking like, why don't she shut her mouth? Why don't she shut the fuck up? Cocky. Study talking. I ain't did nothing wrong. Uh, I can see it all in your face. I know you. I can see it all in your face. You were scared as hell. At first, you was liking the publicity. Then that shit must have sunk in, and you said, oh, wait a minute, this shit is real. But I bet you this, you won't have no callers again coming on there talking about Miss Robbie. I guarantee you that. I bet you check that shit in. I bet you you won't have no call a segment where them motherfuckers call in and lay Miss Robbie out again. That has stopped. I bet it should. If it hasn't, which lets us know that you know you were motherfucking wrong for doing it in the first place. It's amazing. You it's amazing how you switch around. You look, you just switch around and look look how this bitch is talking now. I'm gonna tell you this is how you should have first did, and your ass would have never been served with no paper. Your ass would have never been sued. I tried to warn your dumb ass. I tried to warn you. I said, be careful. Stop talking about Miss Robbie. But you weren't scared. You did it any damn way. And now I hope you learn your damn lesson. Is this just happening? To shoot dramatic summer. What is going on? Tyson Waste is in the building. She, thank you for dropping. Hello, Harriet. Uh, Alice, Kizzy. I hate to even look at her face. Also. Oh, and let me clear this shit up right while I got it. Your vet, Tawana, Tawana, your vet, however that name go, talk show. I haven't done shit to you. But as I noticed, as blood pressure, ugly face was doing her live last night. And I and I was live and I and I was looking at the comments in her live. You had a lot of shit to say about me, Tawana, you bet. I ain't never did shit to you. I don't, I, I don't really watch you or anything like that. But I've been nothing but nice to your ass. But you had a lot of shit to say in that motherfucking live last night about me. Why? Why? I don't even mention your name. I actually forgot about you until I saw your name. I thought you was better than that. I saw you in the time. Oh, I stopped messing with PP and CMA when I found out they weren't really brothers and sisters. Okay. That really made a difference in your life like that? Were you hurt? Foremost, you in it talking shit. But then I kind of, I'm going to tell you what kind of made me really, I said, you know what? You said, I love you, Regina. You my girl. But then I, I came across this. And this is what made me say, you know what? Okay, I get it, Tawana. I get it. Of course, you would be on her sides of course because first of all i don't really mess with you like that but then i heard this right here and i said y'all are sisters in the name of blood y'all are sisters in the name of blood hey y'all so who else gets sleepy after they take their blood pressure medication like i'm so sleepy <laughs> Good morning. This is Tawana, you're back. Nap time. So good night. <laughs> Let me play this again. Let it play again. Hey, y'all. 
So who else gets sleepy after they take their blood pressure medication? Like, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> good morning, but it's nap time. So good night. <laughs> and I'll tell you this, it's a blood pressure thing. Um, she has high you. blood pressure. She's okay. taking her blood pressure medication. I was talking about Regina's blood blood pressure. I had a blood pressure thing as my avatar. So I get it. Is that why you would let me have it? Because you take blood pressure medicine? And what kills me is, why do everybody insert themselves in stuff? I was talking about that particular person. Who has blood pressure problems? I want to tell my all people with blood pressure. People kill me inserting themselves. What well, I'm big, you talking about big people. What well, I'm tall, you talking about tall people. I'm gay, you talking about all gay people. Shut the hell up. They talking about the person that they. Oh God, these sensitive ass people get on my damn nerves. It's damn ridiculous. That woman over there just going in. I didn't even know she talked that much. She typing her ass off about me. You don't know me. I haven't said a fucking word about you, Tawana, you bet. Nothing. But see, a lot of people feel so comfortably and so free to let me have it because they know I don't look at other people's shit. I don't look at other people's stuff. So you can really say anything. If don't nobody tell me, I really don't know. Which is kind of best because then I don't do these clapback videos when I'm netting the hell up. But I'm not going to uh, clap back at your bed because that's... But she had a whole lot to fucking say, typing her ass off about me. You want to know something about me, Tawana? Ask me. Don't ask my neighbor. Don't ask my neighbor. Oh, come to me. Come to me. Don't ask my fucking neighbor about me. Don't ask the next bitch. Don't ask the next motherfucking creator about me, content creator. You want to know something about me? Ask me. I believe when I hit 11K, you hit 11K right after that. And we celebrated together. And now you on other motherfuckers' channels talking about me? What, Cause I ain't fuck with you in a while. Get the fuck up out of here. People be too much in their feeling. I've been too busy in my own lane to worry about anybody. I had really forgot about you, and that's I'm not saying that in a bad way. I literally forgot because I ain't seen you in my shit. I ain't been in your shit. I have not seen you like that. I had not even thought about it until I saw you in the, her chat last night. I would have still not thought about you. What up, Leticia Campbell's in the building? Y'all got to check out Leticia Campbell over here. She breaks down the meaning of incest. Stepping on toes, but I watched it. She broke it down. Y'all, Look, y'all tell me, am I wrong? Because I told my niece, B. Nicole, and I hope she listened to me. I said, you know, I know all about her mom and everything. And I said, you know, I've never seen her father. She said, oh, my father looked good. I said, hell, he must have looked good for his niece to give him some coochie. <laughs> for his niece to be in love with him, your daddy must have looked good for his own niece to want to give him some coochie. And then I had to digress, and I had to catch myself. Thank you, Pastor, for putting um, Leticia's um, thing in it. But wait, <laughs> be the call. my niece said, yeah, I, I said, you know, I've never seen your daddy. You got a picture of him? She said, yeah. She said, I'll send him to she said, oh, he looked good. I said, oh, he must look good. His own niece was kicking ass over him, giving up coochie for him. So I know he must look good. So I told him what she needs to do. Go ahead and, and, and you post that picture. And this is my daddy as well. Stand in your truth. How many of us would look? Come on, somebody. This is the business. You know how many people, you know how many motherfucking, excuse my fridge, I'm cussing my head. Hey, Charlene, we all would, everybody in here would click over there. It's not a person in these YouTube streets that would not want to know 
how her daddy look. Come on, somebody. Who the hell Billy Phil was sleeping with? All of that would be in my mind. Because I'm curious. Of course, I can see it without having been on here. But why not make it work for you? It's part of the story. They try to tie your hands legally every other turn. And then you had um, old girl threaten to call her. You're going to turn around and do the same evil thing that her mama did when I called. You threaten to call this girl's uh, superiors on her as well? You can't get no lower and grimier than that. But that's these YouTube streets. Look, Melissa say no shit, Michael. We all, come on now. If she posted the picture of, of that daddy, and I shouldn't have said this because y'all know PP undercut. She liable to post a picture before, but I don't think she'll do that too. I don't think she'll. She ain't that damn much standing in her truth. But we all would look. Oh, I'll be the first one over to moon. Mm. I'd picture PP kicking ass in high school for him. Then I'd be sitting there thinking, well, what's, who said what to who when the first time that they do it? How could they do that? Look, all type of shit would be going through my mind. Am I the only one to look at PP now like just old nasty whole freak now? Every time I look, I just see an old nasty whole freak. Freak call. Every time I look at PP, I see a no. Oh, nasty freak hoe. I, it just, I can't get it out of my head. She just old oh, nasty freak hoe. I don't care what black suits you try to be on, how proper you t try to talk. You just old oh, nasty freak hoe to me from this point. You just old oh, nasty freak hoe. And you've been that way for a long damn time. You can take the hoe out the hood, but you can't take the hood. Well, you can take the hood out the hoe, but the, the hoe out the Well, y'all know what I was trying to say. Did your sorority sisters know you was hoeing like that? Did your sorority? <sighs> this is a hell no, I would do, but I'm just saying, I want to see what it was that made her go get throw all her morals and values out the window and say, look, I'm fucking my own. I'm going to fuck my own. I'm, get, look, I'm giving my uncle some. The teacher said, no, after my research, I look at her like she needs help. <sighs> Letitia, after my, look, I didn't need no research to realize she liked what she was doing. She kept doing it. That wasn't the last time she did it. And allegedly, that wasn't the only family member she done. I see, because don't allegedly work. That, ain't that what people do? Allegedly. That wasn't the only family member, allegedly. Come on, stand in your truth. You ain't the first one that had sex with their family member. You ain't the first one that got pregnant. But, you know, it was, oh, I don't want to say these people's names because we were good friends, but they lived a couple of doors from us. And the sister and brother had sex and they had a baby. She survived, but she she was deformed a little bit of hip. So I thank God that B. Nicole came out right because, you know, that's the same blood intertwining there. But, you know, when you a hoe, and he had to be a hoe too, so I'm not going to put all the hoe on her. But being a woman, being a lady, you should have been a lady. But anyway, so they both was hoes. And knowing that their blood line was that close, that's a close bloodline right there. And to have a baby. I would have been more worried and praying that the baby came out all right than um, what other people thought. And and that's another thing. You don't even fucking care that not only do your daughter got to deal with your ass, your ass rejecting her and shit, she got to live with the stigma that her mother and father are family member. That's probably why you can't look at her in the face. That, she got to live with the fact that her father and her mother are aunt, our niece and uncle. That alone is a lot to get the fuck over. 
but she's sitting here trying to pacify your ass when you should be pacifying her saying, I'm sorry I put you in this predicament. I'm sorry that your life is like this because of my hot ass. Couldn't close my legs. Come on, somebody. Why is this girl study playing, paying the pencil penalty for shit you did? Everybody out try to make it seem like you the victim. She is the victim and the victim only. She wouldn't be here if you had made better decisions. And then you turned around and had a baby not too long after that. That would have been the first thing that made me go back and look for my baby. Come on, somebody. Uh, I thought they need help. Hello, Sima. Hey, Jay-Z. Thank you, Pison. Hey, Jay-Z. I think the family allowed it was probably more family members. But probably, listen, right, both of them have issues shaking my head. Yeah, that's a lot to internalize mentally. Come on. But we putting it all on, on B. Nicole. People say, well, why did she even come out? She didn't even have to say nothing. What's she wrong? What are you looking for? This, she could be looking for, maybe she just want to tell her motherfucking story. She ain't got to explain nobody where the hell she telling what she telling. Shit, my mama is my cousin and my mother. My daddy is my daddy and my uncle. How the, my mom is my first cousin and my mother. My daddy is my uncle and my daddy. That's a lot to deal with. Help I say always. Hey, when a PP got a lifetime story, a lifetime movie on her hands, or at least Netflix. Yeah. So therefore her daughter is her niece. Daughter. I'm a, I'm right. No. Her daughter is her cousin. Her daughter is her daughter and her first cousin. Um, Leticia said most adopted children want to know their birth parents. Fact. Exactly. It's nothing wrong with that. I had a story of my daddy, and I thought another guy was my daddy. And, you know, even though I had both of them in my life and the other one died, but my real daddy never thought that I even questioned it, but it was a question. And so I had to, I was so curious, I had to find out for sure. Y'all seen me and my daddy on video together. I had to find out for sure, and I was around him every day, all of my life. I've never not been around my daddy. Never not, you know, every time I move, it's my daddy to help me move. Every time it's something manly to do, I call my, I call my daddy. Why? Don't judge me. So, um, that is something curious. I would want to know that. But everybody playing, be, making B. Nicole out to be the victim, and she's not. I mean, like, make her out to be the culprit, but she's the victim is what I should say. And anybody can take her her mama and her, her mama first cousin side is truly wrong. I know my dad had children by cousins, so they are sisters and second cousin. Oh, okay. I, yeah, yeah. I um yeah. I know a lady down the street. She was sleeping with two brothers. She had she had have a baby by one brother, then the baby by another brother. She just back and forth. And it was getting money. I said, Y'all don't shut you. I said, you know y'all sisters and brothers ain't cousins. Shut the hell up. Uh I have cousins in my family who slept together. Say, Real well, I think a lot of cousins have slept together. A lot of them. But see, my mom was the only child, so I didn't have no first cousins. I have some first cousins on my daddy's side. But they all a lot younger than me, so we didn't even hang together like that, so no. And if I did, I would have wore a condom. I wouldn't have got pregnant. And if you have a baby out of it, acknowledge your baby. Hug on it, love on that baby, and tell that baby you're sorry. 
for what you did. It would be different if it wasn't no children made up out of it. But that let be the call that you were meant to be here even more, sweetie, because you made it through. God kept you. Look at you. Loving husband, loving family, loving career. You're here. Ain't missed a beat. Job well done. But those are words that your mama will not hear, your birth mother. Those are words that your birth mother will not hear. Mm, speaking of mama, you know, every time I think of this story, it makes me love on my mama and want to call her even more. Um, excuse me, I just have to get this out of her and see. How could you do somebody like that? And then turn around and talk about a family. Mm. Talk about a damn family, what you think about a family. Come on, somebody. I never get an answer. Hello? Hello? What are you doing? On your way to bingo? Did you go to the it before? Huh? I can't hear you. What they say? What? Okay. Okay. Listen. Okay. All right, y'all. All right. Uh, what was that? Uh, oh. Give me, give me one. Just give me one minute. All right, y'all. All right. I'm um, going to read some of these. Um, I have cousins and my family who slept together. I like my cousin before I knew he was my second cousin, but never had sex with him. Okay, Lolita. Um, Nicole, thank God you birth you had birth parents that loved you as their own. You are blessed and highly favored. So yes, she is. Hey, Lolita. Okay. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts and okay so um 
Y'all gotta see. How about this? I'm gonna end this live, okay? And I'll be back. This is your boy, Cook with Comedian Michael Allen. I'm out, okay? Peace.